Hey, what's going on everybody? Check it out. We're back at it again with another exercise to help you learn the fretboard that much better. We're talking about double stops. Let's go. Hey, what's going on with you? I'm Derek Bennett, the instructor of the Base Nation Academy. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing if you wanna see more like this. So let's jump right into it. We're talking about double stops. Now, we talked about double stops before in the past, but we were using the root note in the 10th before we were in the key of G. And we were playing them like that. That's the most common way to play those double stops, but there's another way to play them that's a little bit easier, and you can visually shape this a lot easier than you can see the one in the 10th scale degree together. Uh, and it's a little bit easier to play. So we're gonna be playing that same thing in G, that same exact formation, but we're gonna be switching that root note. We're gonna bring that up an octave higher. So in that case, we will be playing the G and the B, that will be the third or the octave of the third of that root note. So we're playing G and B. So I have my G on the D string and my B on the A string. But keep in mind, guys, the exercise that we're doing is based off of the major scale. So we're going to be playing the G major scale with double stops using every single root note. And the higher note is going to be the third of every root. Okay, so you get it? So if I'm playing G, the third of that will be B. And then the A, the third of that will be C. So you get the idea. The formation will be major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, major, because we're only using the third interval. So we have major. Now we're gonna go up a whole step to minor. So we have A and C for the minor. Okay, so we get We're playing that with our third finger, first finger. Minor again, a whole step up. So let's go over that. Major, minor, minor, half step, major. So keep in mind, again, the formation, the position, the shape of these intervals. A major interval is one fret apart, literally. The way I'm doing it and positioning it here, one fret apart. So we have the G here, the B here. The minor is a whole step apart or two frets apart, okay? So we have A and C as a minor. The minor, the next one is gonna be the same exact thing. We move that up a whole step, all right? The next one is gonna be a major, a half step up. Major again. All right, so we have major, minor, minor, major, major. Now we're gonna have minor again, a whole step. Okay, and it's easy to visualize these as long as you know the pattern, the major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, major. Okay, you get that pattern deep down in your brain, engraved in your brain, you won't forget this pattern at all. And you can actually hear it while you play that as well. So if you mess up a little bit, uh, that's not right. Okay, so you can hear that as well. Use your ear uh, to your advantage, okay? So make sure you're using a little ear training as well while you're doing this exercise. It's a very simple exercise, but it's diatonic, so it's easy to remember or easy to find your way around. Minor, uh, minor again, and then major, back to major. Okay, so all together. And what I'm doing is I'm plucking both of these at the same time using my first finger and my second finger index and middle at the same time. You can do this separately as well, but then you get into the other exercise that we've done before using the major scale in thirds. Okay, so it's a little bit different. We're using double stops, double meaning two at the same time, right? <laughs> So very simple concept is learning your way up the fretboard. You can play this. Uh, it doesn't sound as good in the lower register. You can also do it that way as well, just to be able to be comfortable with the fretboard and where you are in the section or in that region of the bass. Okay, so take this slow. I'll write these notes out. I'll probably have this right below um, so you guys can follow along. All 
right, so that's it for this lesson. I know it was a pretty quick lesson, but it's really helpful with helping you expand your fretboard knowledge. And if any of you are interested in taking that next level or diving deeper into your bass playing, there's a three day free trial to the online bass education school, also known as Bass Nation Academy. Check it out, strongly suggest you do that. If you haven't subscribed already, Click that subscribe button, click the notification bell icon so you don't miss anything that I post. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, and I'll see you guys in the next one.